Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by. Hope you're all having a great day. I just want to make a quick video about a stock I recently started a position in that I'm pretty excited about called Illumina. If you're not familiar with Illumina, I'll give you the quick textbook overview. Illumina provides tools and services to analyze genetic material with life science and clinical lab applications. The company generates its revenue from sequencing tools and dedicated consumables. Now, Illumina aims to transform human health practices through its leadership of genomic sequencing. The firm provides a broad range of instruments and related consumables to help researchers and clinicians identify and understand genetic variations. Now, the scale of these projects can be wide, such as population genomic initiatives being pursued in many countries, or as narrow as non-invasive prenatal screening. Okay, right here I have a current long-term chart of Illumina pulled up. And as you can see, they are not a new company. They've been publicly traded for about 20 years. They're very well established and very profitable. And as you can also see, I'm probably about 15 years too late buying this stock, but uh, not to worry. I still think there's a lot of upside ahead of it in the future. Now, I personally have had my eye on Illumina for a little over a year, but was waiting patiently for a break of the 270 level before I bought it. And we finally got it with this recent pullback in the market. I ended up buying some at 261.02 on February 27th. Then I added some more at $228.02 on March 12th. Then I added again for the last time at $208.54 on March 18th. Now I had no idea it would bounce as high as it did or I would have bought a lot more. But I think we should get another chance once the market pulls back. At these current levels, I won't be adding any more because they're trading at over 40 times the previous 2020 expected earnings, and since earnings are probably going to be weaker, that valuation is actually more expensive. Now, I think Illumina will continue to benefit from the rapidly expanding applications of its genomic sequencing tools through its own innovations and its acquisitions. In the next five years, Illumina is expected to grow its revenue at 11% compounded because of strong demand for its sequencing technology. Now, as far as the economic uncertainty goes, Illumina's balance sheet appears pretty strong. At the end of 2019, they held about $3.4 billion of cash and investments and owed about $1.3 billion in convertible debt. Now, with that strong of a financial position, I'm pretty confident Illumina should be able to withstand any ongoing future economic shocks. Right now, genomic sequencing is Illumina's bread and butter. Illumina operates with a strong mode around its genetic analyst tools and services. It's estimated Illumina operates with an over 70% share in the sequencing market and has helped scientists generate over 90% of the world's sequencing data. From a technology perspective, Illumina is way ahead of the competition by nearly every measure, including run costs, turnaround time, read lengths, throughput, and error rates. Now, just to show you how far this technology has come, Back in 2003, the famous Human Genome Project was completed, and it took 13 years and roughly $2.7 billion. Today, thanks to technology mostly created by Illumina, it costs less than $1,000 and only takes a few hours. Now, with Illumina's strong commitment to internal innovation, which includes spending roughly 20% of sales on R&D in the last five years, I expect Illumina's technology will continue to lead the industry in sequencing costs and accuracy for years to come. It's estimated the cost should fall to around $100 in the next year or two, and then it should be cost-effective to have that test included in everyone's annual exam, and that should unlock enormous opportunity for Illumina. Now, I'm thinking the genomic sequencing revolution is going to completely change the healthcare industry, and Illumina is the premier player in the space, so that's who I'm putting my money on. The more the technology gets utilized in the medical field, the more effective it's going to become. So I think we're only scratching the surface on the possibilities right now. For me, now is the time to start accumulating the stock because once diseases start being cured with the help of this technology, I think Illumina is going to be off to the races. But I really hope the price pulls back at least one more time because I don't have enough stock yet. Another reason I'm excited about Illumina is because they're spinning off a company called Grail. Now, Grail's objective is to develop a way to detect cancer as early as possible. Although it's still a work in progress, Grail has recently demonstrated their technology can detect more than 50 types of cancer across all stages. With a single blood draw, they can find biomarkers in blood or tissue that point to the presence of cancer. Now, when cancer was detected, their test could also identify where it was located in the body with a 93% degree of accuracy. But what I found even more impressive 
is when detecting cancer early, it's very difficult to avoid false positives, and their false positive rate was less than 1%. Almost all of the deadliest cancers do not have a guideline recommended screening test available yet. And as a result, most are detected way too late. The later the detection, the much lower the probability of survival becomes. In many types of cancer, getting treatment in stage 1 can increase the survival rate to as high as 90% versus as low as 10% in stage 4. Last year, over 600,000 Americans died from cancer, and it's estimated more than a third of Americans will be diagnosed with cancer sometime in their life. So this technology could change everything. And with all this excitement around Grail, they have attracted investors such as Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, and Johnson & Johnson, just to name a few. Now, Illumina still owns a significant stake in Grail, and Illumina's gene sequencing technologies is used by Grail, as well as other companies. So what's good for Grail is good for Illumina. On the screen right here, I have a yearly earnings forecast for Illumina pulled up from the NASDAQ site. And as you can see, they are expected to have enormous growth in the near future. They're expected to grow their EPS by almost 50% in the next two years. So I think Illumina should be one of the market leaders coming out of this recession. Now, due to the current crisis in the economy, Illumina pulled its earnings outlook for 2020, just like a lot of companies are doing. But Illumina plans to give more details later this month when they report full results, but I wouldn't be surprised if they delay that outlook again because of the ongoing uncertainty in the economy. Okay, so those are the reasons I like Illumina's prospects for the future and why I started a position with them. Now, I would like to at least double my position size, so I'm going to try to be patient again and wait for prices to fall below 250 before I add to it. But with this crazy market, who knows? If you know anything good or bad about Illumina that I didn't touch base on, please leave it for me in the comments section. I might not be aware of it, and I'd love to check it out. And if it's bad, I'd preferably like to check it out before I add to the position. Okay, so that's all I have for you today. I just want to end the video by saying that this is not investment advice. This is just my crazy opinion for your fun and entertainment. Please do your own research. Thank you so much for watching, and take care.